Hey y'all, just a uh, quick video I wanted to make for anyone coming back to World of Warcraft like I am for the Legion release. Um, there was an add-on that I used back before that has changed um, quite a bit. Well, I say quite a bit, but actually you can make it behave just like it used to, which is sort of what I'm going to be doing here. Um, it's called Arc Inventory, and it's an all-in-one inventory mod. Um, one of the you know, things like Bagnon or All-in-One Inventory, like that. There it is. And the great thing about Arc Inventory is that it lets you sort things however you want. Like, basically, uh, before, when you installed it, you would be able to go up here to this Edit Mode thing and click it, and then go to the second bar. Let's say you wanted the second bar of your inventory to contain all your soulbound items. You'd right click and you'd select the soulbound category, but as you can see, this menu now says locked. Locked, locked, locked. I've been told some people aren't getting this when they install. Um, I don't know. But I did, and I figured out after I was really, like, upset. I made an angry post on WoW Interface. I've deleted it since, but that's beside the point. Just running my mouth trying to be useful and helpful now. Let's talk about how to get these menus to unlock. So first of all we want to get out of edit mode. So you've got your standard inventory here and you can actually, you know, click restack on it and it'll sort things out uh, pretty nicely for you. But it's still, you know, a big jumble of icons. It's better to have them with a little more separation, in my opinion. So let's go to the bag in the top left, and then click it and click Config. And we're going to come to this big configuration thing with a lot of things that, uh, that you don't really need to be concerned with. Um, and the main thing we want to look at here is this. So uh, under Controls under bag if you see this uh, 9999 asterisk default for your style and your layout that's what's causing those things to lock up uh, if you can select 1000 default that's what you want to do if you can't select 1000 default what you can actually do is go to um, settings here on the left and then click designs all right so designs and you can just make one and we'll name it like design one and just hit okay on it and uh, design one starts see if you didn't have this default like I didn't when I first installed this add-on um, a reinstall of the add-on actually fixed it but if you don't have that and you have your lockout happen, you can switch, you can create this design one and it's got all the same settings as default 1000. Then you can go down to controls and you could change your your style and your layout to design one. Um, I'm gonna go with the just default that it came with, um, that it was set to initially when I uninstalled and reinstalled the add-on. I may have just gotten a bad version and I'm making this video for nothing, but let's just assume that you actually need to do this. So you want to make sure you're not on that 9999 asterisk default thing, because that won't let you do what the old ARC inventory add-on let you do. So we're going to... You bank everything else that you want ARC inventory to handle. You want to make sure you got those that style and layout just like that. The, the, the category set... I don't think it really matters, but close out. And now, when we hit edit and we right click, we get the old style menu that'll let you do, you know, everything that you used to do. Like now I can go to system, and um, I don't know why these numbers exist in front of the item sets now. They just do. But you can now do like equipable items, soul bound, account bound. We can just do all equipable items in one set, or maybe you decide no, I don't want to. I don't want to have the the stuff that's not soul bound or account bound there. Let's let's remove that from that, and let's put the 
equipable items that aren't soulbound in window number three. And if you turn off edit mode, now you can see that you've got sectioned off bits of your window that contain these things. Um, all your bag's empty slots are by default showing up in, in bag one. That's actually due to the um, uh, let's see see if you're in another bar it shows you where things are at. These are in number two. This is in number three. And um, this is just default bag slash slot is the sort method. You can change the sort method to rarity or name or vendor price, etc. So like let's change it to rarity. Now everything is sorted by rarity with my purple item down here in the bottom right. And uh, as you move up, you'll have your common items. And you can do that with any any of your bags so as you can see now that sorted all my purples to the bottom you can also do uh, just real quick there was a uh, there was a way to reverse reverse the order uh, I think that's just under config if you go to config Oh well, anyway, I'm, I'm thinking there's a way to reverse the order, but that's more advanced stuff. So now, like, this is basically all you need to know. Um, like, I just do very basic, like, the next slot, maybe I want every, every item I have in my inventory that has to do with a skill or a trade profession. Let's just slap them in there so all my fish, all my jewels, all my stone and stuff like that is in like one slot. And then I like to do uh, consumables. All my consumables in another. Like I, you can, you can subcategory it however you want. Like let's say maybe, maybe you don't like your, your food being in here we go to consumables um, here the stuff that's added we'll go to uh, food let's move it to you click move there and then you go to the bar where you want it to move and you click move complete bam that's just gonna move to there or you know easier in my opinion is that you can just snatch away from five you can just be like move it here I don't know you still have to do move complete oh well eh, it would have been easy if it had been able to do the other way but now all my food and drink is like by itself away from my other consumables like my gnomish army knife my potions and stuff like that my my bandages um, yep and then I always have slot where I will just put useless stuff like pets, mounts that are still in my inventory for some reason, uh, battle pets, <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to have those really, and I'm a rogue. Um, let's see. Toy items, I have some in my inventory right now. You know, and you can configure this however you want to make yourself the best inventory for you. Um, but just make sure you unlock the menus like I showed you if you're having that menu lock issue. So, that's all. Have fun.